Hello again, this is Drillmasters Rock, and I've decided to come out with another video. Um, I kind of stopped making videos, because uh, it was getting to be kind of boring for me. Uh, just trying to come up with things to, to put in them, but heck, I decided to try again, or not to try again, but to do it again. Have fun. Just playing the game, building things, not worried about the views or how many subscribers I have, which I was kind of, I was kind of focused on <coughs> when I first started making videos. But uh, right now, I just want to make a video, share it with those who watch them, and if I happen to get more views or more subscribers, then yay for me. But uh, right now, I'm just gonna do it for fun and enjoy Minecraft for the game it is and explore all the new things that were added to the game since last time I made a video. So first I guess I want to go over what I've been doing and then we can go over what I have planned for the future and then just show a little bit of gameplay and call it a day. So first I want to show you guys this house I've been bu building, this jungle house, uh, jungle tree house. Um, I've been playing on this map on and off with other games, especially since the Steam sale, <laughs> uh, the Steam winter sale. I've been, I've purchased a lot of games that were on sale that I wanted to try for a while, and so far, I've always come back to Minecraft. It's one of those games. But uh but yeah, this is my most recent construction. It's my little house in the jungle. Uh the first time I've kind of explored the jungle a little bit. Uh I've really gotten into playing the game. It's my chicken coop, my renewable food source uh, with eggs and chickens. This is where my enchanting table is going to be. That's going to be fun. First time I'm going to really explore enchanting. Because uh, I haven't really got into the enchanting part of it in a little while. Uh, there's a reed farm where I'll get my sugar and where I got all my books. Got my sleeping over there. Sleeping quarters. <coughs> I have wheat and pumpkins growing over here and you saw my storage area and that's uh that's pretty much it just kind of small functional house um, I plan on expanding it a little bit when uh, when I get into the like potion making and um, build another portal somewhere around here it's gonna be good it's gonna be great um, I really enjoy this jungle a uh, new environment and everything and that's what I've been working on recently uh, I've also been playing on a feed the beast server that N2 Cranes and I have been running with uh, some of our friends and that's been a lot of fun that's been pretty crazy actually playing with all those mods and if you haven't looked up feed the beast yet I will put a link in the description to show you guys what what it is, how to get it, see if something that that'd be what you would want to see or play. And N2 Cranes and I will be making videos on that server. Um, that's something to look forward to in the future. Uh, we're not sure when about the first video will be but we will be making some videos in the next month or so so look forward to that <coughs> and it's gonna be cool there's a lot of cool mods that will make building uh, big builds exciting and add a ton more detail to the amount of um, well, a ton more detail to the buildings that we're that we're planning on on making, and it's just going to be 
cool all around. I really enjoyed playing Feed the Beast, and uh, it's going to be fun making videos on it. If you haven't seen videos of Generic B and all those other guys, those bigger guys who <laughs> who, uh, who are always making videos on that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be our own rendition of Feed the Beast kind of uh, servers and construction and build craft and industrial craft and all that stuff. It's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. But uh yeah, that's what I have planned in the future and what I've been doing. I plan on doing some more big builds. I have a couple in the works right now that I'm going to keep secret. Um I ventured back to Allenwood. It's way far that way in that direction. That was fun. It was kind of like a epic journey to try and find my way back to back to where I started, and it was it was a lot of fun doing that. I might do it again, show that on camera. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be making videos again. All right now, I'm gonna go searching for some diamonds and obsidian. So that way I can make that enchanting table and make another portal. But I'm not going to show all of the exploring of the cave system that I have. Because most of it's already done. So it would be kind of boring just walking through the, the mine shaft that I've already made. So we're going to head over there right now. And I shall try and find an area that I haven't explored and once I do I will make well I'll, I'll see you guys over there actually I'll just make a video of it and post it on the end of this video so I will see you guys in a little bit so here I am inside my caves and me being the smartest man in the world didn't bring anything <laughs> Well, I brought what I had on me, but I brought a iron pickaxe that's almost gone, and, um, well, not much else. <laughs> so, I am going to have to use the stuff around me to <coughs> remake my inventory, and I'm going to take that with me, so that way I have a crafting table but I found I've always liked ravines this ravine looks really cool it's really long it looks like and uh, I have a couple of projects that I want to do with ravines so that was uh, I can't do that that was pretty cool it's pretty lucky Let's see gonna go explore in this abandoned mine shaft I think I've already been here I don't know maybe but uh I've kind of explored this abandoned mine shaft a little bit before oh skeleton but uh I didn't go into into it too deep <coughs> and this is a pretty big one by the looks of it oh there's a lightning storm outside <laughs> and uh got to make some more torches Don't want to run dry on sticks. Wow, that lightning's really loud. I can hear it all the way down here. Oh, iron. All right, no iron. Wow. Trick of the light. Um, but yeah, I found a few things of coal. So that this trip isn't. Oh, here's the iron. <laughs> Told you there was iron. But um. Oh, is this a spider spawner? Oh, I hate these cave spiders. They're a menace. Oh, chest. Yes, diamonds. What a find. Pumpkin speeds. And there's up. Oh, there's a spawner right there. What is that? What was that? Is that a rat? Let's see if I can get in there. Oh, one thing that I like about 
<coughs> how they what they added to this more recent um, update is the 3D effect that the items have now like this string see how it's kind of got that 3D effect to it? Oh, I might as well get rid of this, I'm not going to use it. No, 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 no. So I thought that was pretty cool. That was a cool new thing they added since I played. Or well, since I last made a video. What is... There's f just floating fire. <laughs> but, um... That was a nice... That was a nice... Oh, there they are. Found them. That was something nice to see. Die, spiders, die. These things are bane of my existence. I hate exploring an abandoned mine shaft because of those because of them. There's another one around here somewhere. What I like about abandoned mine shafts is the amount of free material you get from it. Like all this track right here, just laying around. Expensive things that you make, just lying around waiting for someone to pick it up. That's probably why they made it so dangerous to explore. I think in this one... Wow, this is <laughs> it's really bad out there. But uh in this one shaft that I've explored, I've found four cave spider or what or whatever they're called, uh spawners. And one time I almost died exploring a cave uh one of the or trying to get rid of them, one of them, so <coughs> It's dangerous, but it's well worth it. My armor is almost destroyed. A little dark corner. I'm hiding. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Let's see, so, uh, and the chest—just the random chest that you find um, exploring a abandoned mine shaft—is well worth it. As you can see, I found two diamonds. Oh, don't want to fall. So, whenever you find one, it, oh, it's a good idea to, can I, yeah, I can, it's a good idea to go exploring if you have all the proper equipment, which I did not at the time. I know what I'm going to make. I need to make an iron sword. Perfect. Save that diamond. <coughs> Oh wait, I won't use that one up first. And there's just wood all over the place in an abandoned mine. So that way if you ever need wood while you're going exploring, it's a good place to get it. One thing that you can do while you're exploring a cave that I know helps me a lot is putting torches all on one side of the cave you're exploring. So that way, if you ever want to try and get out, <laughs> which uh, you probably will, then you can just go in the opposite. Like, if say, if you put the torches all on your right side, you can go whichever way the torches are on your left side. And it should lead you out. Uh, sometimes there's been cases where <laughs> I just get lost because... There's so many torch. There's so many different ways that I put torches that I went. So it's a good idea to remain consistent and try and make it as easy as possible to get out. Because I know it's a been a couple times where I just felt frustrated with Minecraft because oh creeper I didn't bring a freaking bow. Oh what's that? Crazy. Those things still creep. They'll still scare me as, <laughs> as pop out when you least expect them. 
skeleton. Ah, uh, lighting glitch. Oh, a lot of iron. That's what I do when I explore. I put torches all on one side and make it a lot easier to get out and get rid of torches like that so that way they don't confuse me. But yeah, so far it's been a productive mining trip. Still looking for that obsidian and such and I will <coughs> come back to you I'll come back to making a video once I find some. See you in a little. So I found some. I found some obsidian. Here we are. And a bat. Hello, bat. I found some obsidian. But, oh, creeper! Get out of here, creeper! No! Alright, well. Got rid of that guy. Oh. Staircase to heaven is gone. But, I found some obsidian, so that's good. Unfortunately, I don't have a diamond pickaxe to mine it. So that will be what we do in the next episode, is look for diamonds so I can make that pickaxe and mine that obsidian and then that's more than enough obsidian to make a nether portal and an enchanting table so that's always good yes found more lava to make obsidian yes this is looking good finally got to that level ah creeper get out of here Thinking creepers. But, uh, yeah. Things are looking good. Uh, look forward to another episode. And look forward to N2 Cranes and I making some videos on our little server we have. FTB. Exploring that a little bit. And... This concludes this episode. Not too long of an episode, but got some things done. Mined a lot of materials. Found obsidian. Now all I need to do is find some diamond. And I will be golden. <coughs> so, if you guys like what you see, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. But if not, just check me out whenever you can. And I will see all of you next time.